Now let us discuss about join operation in relational algebra. Join operation is mainly useful in order to overcome the limitations of Cartesian product. We know what is a Cartesian product. Let we have two relations such as R1 and R2. Then R1 Cartesian product R2 is nothing but every row of the first pair, first table is combined with all the rows of the second table. So 1, 2 is combined with 5, 6. Next 1, 2 is combined with 7, 8. So likewise, second row of the first relation is combined with all the rows of the second relation. So what is the second row of the first relation? 3, 4. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 7, 8. Suppose if relation R1 has 10 tuples and relation R2 has 10 tuples, then every row of the uh, first relation is to be combined with every row of the second relation. So total it produces 20 tuples. So all the 20 tuples may not be needed to us. So here the problem is Cartesian product produces large tuples. So if we want to produce only a limited number of tuples, then we have to go for the join operation. So we can say that join is a combination of Cartesian product and select operation. So after Cartesian product, it produces a large number of tuples. So among all the tuples, we can select only few tuples by specifying the join condition. So join means combination of Cartesian product and selection operation. So let us see about what is join operation. Join operation combines tuples from two relations if and only if join condition is satisfied. So among all the tuples, a join condition is applied. So only those tuples will be given as the output. So it combines, join means it joins, it combines the tuples from two relations and what will happen if and only if join condition is satisfied. Let us see how we can denote the join uh, uh, operation. It is denoted by the symbol two triangles uh, facing each other. Okay, Two triangles facing each other. So this is the first triangle, this is the second triangle. So join operation is denoted by this symbol. Whereas Cartesian product is represented by this cross mark. We have two types of join. So join means inner join. Extension of the join is called as outer join. So we have three types of inner join are there. Theta join, equi join, natural join. And uh, the types of outer join are left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. Now let us discuss the first join that is inner join. Inner join produces only those tuples that satisfies the matching criteria that satisfies the join condition. We have three types of inner join. The first one is theta join or conditional join. Second one is equi join. Third one is natural join. Here we have two relations R1 and R2. First relation has three attributes, rule number, name and marks. Second relation has two attributes, rule number and gender. Okay. Now let us see about uh, theta join or conditional join. So here uh, it produces only those tuples that satisfies the join condition or matching pattern. So R1 join R2. Here this theta specifies that we are applying some comparison operator. We are applying some conditional operators. So the comparison operators are greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, is equal to, not equal to. So out of these uh, six comparison operators, we need to apply one comparison operator. So let us see what is that operator R1, R2 and here the join condition is R1 dot rule number is greater than R2 dot rule number. So this is R1 dot rule number and this is R2 dot rule number. So it produces only those tuples that satisfies this condition. So now let us see what is the output. So R1 dot rule number means this information whereas R2 dot rule number means this information. Okay. So we know what is join. Every pair of the first relation is uh, uh, combined with every pair of the second relation whenever the join condition is satisfied. So what is R1 dot rule number 72? Uh, so it will be compared with R2 dot rule number. So first pair, first tuple of the second relation. So that is 70. 
72 is greater than 70. So condition is false. So this row won't be produced as the output. 72 is greater than 70. I'm sorry. 72 is greater than 70. 72 is greater than 70. Condition is satisfied. So this row will be produced as the output. So 72 Ramesh 80. 72 Ramesh 80. And this is rule number. Rule number is available in uh, uh, both the relations. So let us name it as R2.rule number. Next gender. Okay. So 72 Ramesh 80. Next 70 M. So this is the output. Next, next this condition will be checked. So first row of the first relation uh, is compared with second row of the first re second relation. 72 and 85. 72 is greater than 85. 72 is greater than 85. Condition is false. So this row won't be produced. Next, 85 will be compared with 70. Second row of the first relation will be compared with first row of the second relation. 85 is greater than 70. Condition is true. So this row, these two rows will be combined now. So 85 Mahesh 90, 85 Mahesh 90, next to 70 male. Next, third row of the first relation. So 85 is greater than 70, it is over. Next 85, 85. 85 is greater than 85. Condition is false. So this row won't be produced. Next, third row of the first relation will be taken. 70, 70. 70 is greater than 70. Condition is false. So this row won't be produced. Next to 70, 85. 70 is greater than 85. Condition is false. So this row won't be produced as the output. So this is the output for this. Uh, uh, th so th this uh, this one. Uh, next, let us take the second one. The second one is equijoin. Equijoin means the join operator is equality operator is equal to operator. So so here let us see the uh, R1, R2. So here what is the condition? What is the condition? R1 dot roll number is equal to R2 dot roll number. R1 dot roll number is equal to R2 dot roll number. Why? Because equijoin means we have to use equality operator is equal to operator. So this is the query. Now let us see what is the output. So here what is the operator here? Equijoin means we have to use is equal to equality as the operator. Okay. So here, so 70 to 70, false, 70 to 85. False, both are not true. Next 85, 70, false, both are not true. Next 85, 85, true. So this row will be compared with, combined with this row. So 85, Mahesh 90, 85, Mahesh 90, 85 and male. So that is the output. Next 70, 70. So both are true. So this row will be combined with this row. So 70, Naresh 100, 85, 70, Naresh 100, 70 and male. So this is the output. So this is about theta join or conditional join and the second one is natural join. Now let us see about natural join. Till now we have seen about two types of inner join such as theta join or conditional join and equi join. Now let us see about natural join. It produces the tuples based upon the common attributes. Let us see an example. Natural join means we have to use this join operator only. There is no need to specify any condition here. Any condition here. Whereas in theta join, we have to provide the condition as either greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, is equal to or not equal to. Whereas in equi join, the condition is is equal to operator. In natural join, no condition is specified. Condition is not required. Natural join will be performed on the two relations based upon the common attributes. Let us take uh, this example R1, R2, R1 uh, join R2. Join means natural join only. So here what are the common attributes in both the uh, relations? So BD is the common attribute. BD is the common attribute in both the relations. So what will happen is here it produces the output based upon those common attributes. So here BD means BD means 1A. Here BD means 1A. So here the values are matching. So it produces output as all, what is ABCD? Alpha 1, Alpha A and what is E here? Alpha. So this is the first row. Next what will happen? First row will be compared with second row of the first relation, second relation. So 1A. Here BD means 3A. Not matched. Next 1A, 1A, matched. So, these two will be combined. 
So what is the first row? Alpha, alpha, alpha A. And what is E here? E means gamma. Next, these two will be compared. 1A, 2B. So not matched. Next, 1A, 3B. Not matched. Next, what will happen? Second row will be considered. Second row of the first relation will be compared with all the rows of the second relation. Second row of the first relation will be compared with all the rows of the second relation. So here, what are the matching attribute values? 2A. So 2A, 1A. So not equal. Next, 2A, 3A. Not equal. Why? Because these two are the BD attributes. Next, 4B, 1A. Not equal. I am sorry. 2A, 2A, 1A not equal. Next, 1A, 2B not equal. So, already second row is already considered. So, what is the second row? 2A. Uh, so, 2A, 2B not equal. 2A, 3B not equal. So, second row also not equal. Okay. So, 2A, 1A, 2A, 3A, 2A, 1A, 2A, 2B, 2A, 3B. Now, let us consider the third row of the first relation and compare with all the rows of the second relation. So, here the attributes are, values are 4B, 4B. So, 4B 1A, 4B 3A, 4B 1A, 4B 2B, 4B 3B, not equal. Next, we have 1A, 1A. So, 1A, it matches with the first row of the second relation. So, that row will be combined, those two rows will be combined. So, alpha 1, what is this row? Gamma A, gamma A. Next, we have here, what is E? E means alpha. Next, 1A, 3A, not equal. 1A, 1A, equal. So, these two rows will be combined. So, what is this row? Alpha 1, gamma A. So, 1A is already written, gamma. Next, 1A, 2B, not equal. 1A, 3B, not equal. Now, let us consider the last row. 2B, 1A, not equal. 2B, 3A, not equal. 2B, 1A, not equal. 2B, 2B, equal. So, we have to combine these two rows. So, alpha 2, beta B. Next one. What is this value? Delta. So, this is about what is natural join. Now, let us see about outer join. So, till now we have seen about inner join. Inner join produces only those two pools that satisfies the matching condition. Whereas, outer join means it produces the matching two pools as well as not match to pulse also. It produces to pulse that satisfies the join condition or matching criteria and some to some to pulse that do not satisfy the join condition. So it not only produces the matching to pull but also produces unmatched to pulse. Let us see an example. So here we have a, a course relation which has course ID and course as the attributes and faculty relation which has two attributes course ID and faculty. We have three types of outer join. The first one is left outer join or we can call it as left join. Second one is right, out, right outer join which can be called as right join also. Third one is full outer join which can be called as full join also. First let us see about left outer join. Left outer join means it returns all the tuples from the left table. It, why? Because it is left outer join. So, all the tuples from the left table will be displayed and match tuples from the right table. So, from the right table only match tuples will be displayed. Okay. Left outer join is de uh, denoted by this symbol. So, this is, you know, this is a join symbol. So, left means we have to use two horizontal lines like this. Okay. So, let us see what is the output here. Left outer join means all the tuples from the left to table will be displayed. So, here the left table is course right table is faculty. So, all the tuples from the course will be displayed. Here we have three tuples which are available in the course table 100 dbms 101 data structure 102 java 100 dbms 101 data structure 102 java and coming to the right tuple only the match tuples will be displayed. Okay. So, here uh, here 100 dbms mahesh. So, here what is the common attribute? 
CID is the common attribute. So 100 is present in both the relations. So we will get Mahesh as the output. So here Mahesh will be displayed. Next here we have 101, 101. So 101, 101. Both are equal. So Ramesh. So here 101 data structure. Data structure faculty is Ramesh. Next coming to this one, 102 Java. But for 102, there is uh, no value here. So that's why here null will be displayed here. Null will be displayed here. Why? Because this is not matched with the le left outer table. So what will happen? Null will be displayed. Null will be displayed. Now let us see about right outer join. So the name itself specifies the meaning. It returns all the tuples from the right table and only the match tuples from the and only the match tuples from the left table. Okay. So here uh, course right outer join means we have to use two horizontal lines like this course faculty. So here faculty is the right table. So all the tuples from the right table will get sprinted. So CID faculty 100 Mahesh 101 Ramesh 104 Naresh 100 Mahesh 101 Ramesh 104 Naresh and only the match tuples from the second uh, left table. Okay. So 100 Mahesh. So what is the course DBMS next 101. 101 is the common attribute. So 101 Ramesh course is data structure. 101 Ramesh course is data structure. Next tuple is what? 104 Naresh. But 104 course ID is not available in the course table. So here we can say that that course is null. That course will be taken as the null. Okay. And let us see the full outer join. Full outer join means it returns all the tuples <laughs> when there is a match either in left or right relation. So it returns all the tuples from both the relations. If there is no match, then null will be displayed. Okay. So this is nothing but course ID, course and faculty. So 100 DBMS. So for 100 course ID, the faculty name is Mahesh. Next 101 data structure. So for 101 course ID, the faculty name is Mahesh. Next 102 Java. 102 Java. 102 course ID is not available here. So here null will be displayed as the output. Okay. Next, if we consider uh, second two relations, already 100, it, it, it is already written. 101 is already written. Okay. Next, 104 Naresh. 104 Naresh. For 104 course ID, there is no course here. So that's why we have to write null here. So this is about uh, join operation in relational algebra.